So once you have created something in Canva, any type of Canva design that you would like your students to interact with, I want to show you how you can bring that item and then insert it into other digital curriculum delivery options that you may use on a day-to-day -day basis, such as OneNote, Seesaw, and Schoology. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Canva and locate that particular design that I want my students to interact with. So let's just say it's this one we want. And you're going to click on the one you want and you're going to have it open because what we need to access is the share button in the upper right hand side. So when you click on share, there'll be an option near the bottom that says download. Now the default download option is PNG, which is a picture, but it's a very high quality picture. A JPEG is also a picture. It might not be, it'll be very good quality and it's sometimes very hard to tell the difference between the two, but the JPEG option is a smaller file. So this is why I usually recommend this one. Um, and if you're go going to be inserting this into OneNote in particular, I would suggest that you do not use the PDF option. When you insert PDFs into OneNote, it makes your notebook grow in size and it can slow down your notebook over time. So in my case here, to insert for all three of the different digital curriculum services, I'm going to select the JPEG, and then I'm going to click Download. Once I click Download, where that option, where the file is going to be, is going to be in your Downloads area in your browser, and it throws it in the Downloads folder on your computer. So if I click on this little arrow here, you can see here, this is what I just downloaded. And I'm going to open it by clicking on that second icon there. So right now, the, it's opening it as a picture into a picture software. And what I need to do now that I've opened it is I now need to save it this now that I have it saved and I'm now going to move over to OneNote. So if you're a OneNote user and you want your students to interact with this, what you're going to do is open up a place in your notebook where you want it to go. In this case, it's going in the content library and I'm going to insert it like I would anything else that the students are interacting with. So I'm going to click File Printout under the Insert menu and then I'm going to select the file which I saved in my OneDrive in this folder. And here it is, and I'm going to select Insert. Um, because the Canva products are so high quality, it will come in rather big. So if you want to make this smaller before you push it out to students, you can do that using these little corner things here. Um, and then this document is ready to go for OneNote. Next, we're going to move over to Seesaw. So in Seesaw, what we're going to do is we're going to add this activity. So I'm going to select add and I'm going to select create activity. And I'm going to give this activity a name. And then over here, I want to upload that resource. So Seesaw wants you to drag and drop it. So you have to know exactly where that file is located and you need to open up the folder icon in the bottom of your taskbar first. So I'm going to open up my folder and I'm going to oh, go to my OneDrive here and then I'm going to go into the folder where I have that document saved and it's right here. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it and drop it right over to the Seesaw screen. So the file is showed up here and now I am ready to save it. So I'm going to click the green arrow and this is what this will look like for the students. You can still use all the Seesaw tools on top of this if you need to give verbal directions or anything like that. You still have the freedom to put more additional things on top of this template for your student. And finally, if you are a Schoology user, the way I would suggest you insert this if you want your students to interact with it is to insert it as a CAMI assignment. Um, so I'm going to click on the dotted lines here so I can add a material and I'm going to select Kami. Because Kami has its own annotation tools, it's going to make it easy for the students to write on top of this or to type on top of this. So the assignment is saved to my OneDrive, so I'm going to go search in my OneDrive. 
And now that my OneDrive is open, I'm going to navigate to the folder where I saved that file. You can see it's right here because it's indicated by those little three blue lines that it's new. So I'm going to select it and then hit select. So you can see here it attached itself here. I need to give it a title. I like to get rid of all the extraneous information so the students really don't need to see that. And then I'm going to click continue. So it's going to now attach the file into my Schoology course. And a couple of things that you just have to do on the Schoology end, and it will be ready to go for your students. So on the Schoology end, this will automatically pop up. You will have to pick a grading category if you haven't already. That's the only thing that's required here. Um, and you can put a due date also. And then I'm just going to select Save Changes. So now when the students go into your course and they click on this, they're going to get all the Kami tools next to that Canva design that you created for them. And voila, there it is. So the students can use these tools if they need, because this is a big um, layout here, you, the students can click on those arrows and it will give them the full view of what they're working on along with all of the Kami tools. So I hope this was a help in learning how to bring your Canva designs over to our other digital curriculum services.